I'm Anil Kumar and here is an application on special triangles. Using appropriate special triangle determine theta if square root of 3 cosecant theta equals to 2 and theta is between 0 to 360 degrees. So let's rewrite the equation. It is square root of 3 cosecant theta. Cosecant theta is equals to 2, right? So let's rearrange this. So we get cosecant theta equals to 2 over square root of 3 right or sometimes you can write this as sine theta cosecant is 1 over sine so you can write this as sine theta is equals to square root 3 over 2 it's a good idea to write it in the primary trigonometric ratios now let us see how to find the angle theta within 0 to 360 degrees so now what we are going to do is we can use our coordinate system and see when is sine positive we are looking for a positive answer so since we know all are positive in coordinate 1 sine is positive in coordinate 2 tan in 3 cosine in 4 right so all students take calculus or the cost rule so sine being positive in quadrant 1 and uh, 1 and 2 that means we are expecting two solutions one here the other one is here correct so let us find the acute angle so the idea is to find acute angle how do we find acute angle square root 3 over 2 reminds us of a particular triangle which is 60 30 90 degrees triangle correct so let me sketch one for you here and then we'll figure it out so let's sketch 60 30 90 triangle let's say this is our 60 30 90 triangle so in this triangle we know this side is 60 or well I wrote pi by so I'll write pi by 3 here sometimes we use radians but in this case we have to use degrees so 30 degrees and I should actually write 60 degrees okay so that is 60 30 90 the sides are 1 2 and square root of 3 when we say sine theta square root 3 over 2 then square root 3 is the opposite side and hypotenuse is 2. So the angle which is opposite is 60 degrees, correct? Therefore, our acute angle here is 60 degrees. Do you understand? And since the acute angle is 60, it is here also 60 degrees. You get the point. So, so what we get here is that the acute angle, we normally refer that to angle beta, will be equals to 60 degrees right now what is theta equals to so idea here is to always find a related acute angle right so first find related acute angle so we found first step is find related acute angle let me write this for angle okay now you find the principal angle so the principal angle theta is how much as you can see principal angle theta in this particular case is 60 degrees right that is first that is one answer and the other one is this much so that is theta right which is 180 minus 60 so that is one answer the other answer is theta equals to 180 degrees take away 60 degrees so we have two solutions one is 60 degrees the other one is 120 degrees correct so these are the two answers for the given question. So for theta is 60 degrees and 120 degrees, this equation is true. So that is how you should be solving. Thank you and all the best.